Greetings, YouTube. I finally just jumped in after a couple days of my first Mole Man expedition, which to me sounds like something that could get you arrested in Oklahoma, but I digress. And, uh, you know, of course, I started with Epic and just one path. I just chose a path at random. And I've heard from most people who really, really like this. And I just have to say, if you're one of those people out there who doesn't like this, who thinks this is dumb or a waste of time or whatever, I feel like you're probably always going to complain about the game because my main two sources of frustration with side quests, really three, I guess. Number one, they often cost too much energy. We're talking three energy per tile, at least two. This costs zero. The next thing that always annoys me is that you have an insane amount of like really tough notes sometimes, like the Trial of the King, for example, where you're just fighting some BS cash grab nodes. I didn't see anything like that. And the last thing is, usually high energy, crazy nodes, low rewards. On Epic, and we have to thank our friends at MCOC Trucos for putting out this incredible infographic that you cannot see on screen. But if you do it every week and you do all the paths, uh, Epic alone, 1,450 six-star shards, a fully formed five-star basic crystal or 10,000 five-star shards, 45,000 tier two alpha catalyst fragments, so over one full tier two A, 12,900 of the tier five basic, which I think is crazy awesome, uh, two tier four class catalysts, 57 tier four class catalyst crystals, uh, one tier four basic, and then along with 82,200 tier four basic catalyst fragments and 280,000 gold. So. Another thing that I love about this, besides all these rewards, is that let's just say you suck, right? You go into, let's jump into this. Uh, you go into this fight against the Yellow Jacket and you just get creamed, right? Well, you don't have, like other annoying side quests, a limited amount of entries or tickets. There is no like timer that's telling you, hey, if you don't clear this in half an hour, you're going to lose everything. And so it's just a lot more relaxing without the stakes of messing up, which is great. I'm a, a huge fan of that. And what I also like is that because you can only bring three champions in, it kind of reminds me of dungeons, except without the dungeon refresh sacrificing times and arena, which of course, as many of you know, I uh, grind the arena like nothing else. So yeah, you know, it's just it's just relaxing. And yes, I know I have a great roster with 565s and rank 2 6 stars, and that a lot of you watching this who do epic, maybe you're using rank 3 or rank 4 5 stars or rank 5 4 stars, but the PI is still very fair. Even the final Mole Man boss, it's not like he's at the epic difficulty level of 35,000 like he is in the monthly uncollected event quest. And uh, it's, just, it's just relaxing to me. I don't know if that's fair for all of you to say that, and I understand if it's not, but you know, I just find this to be something that um, I'm just looking at. I'm not worried about my energy costs going down. I'm not worried about a timer. I'm not worried even if I get wrecked. And, uh, and the rewards are, I think, really fair. They're not the greatest rewards you've ever seen, but they're far from the worst. And the zero energy just, just makes it to where... It's just, it's relaxing. I, I know there's probably a better word out there for this, but for me, it's just relaxing. And I really appreciate that because as you know, you're going through this, you don't really uh, want to stress. At least I don't. That's why I don't do Alliance War. I just don't like the stress. And so um, I also have to say that I, um, I'm excited to use Stark Spidey more. I, I find that I just don't use him that much anymore, but I really like using him. And Lord knows it took a very long time for me to get him. And without the Katie Candy dungeon, Starkey Dance, who knows if I would have ever gotten him. But, you know, I'm just relaxing, just building up those poise charges. Does he have to be at 10 to be good? No, but I like that just for the sake of this video, just to show that insane damage that's still extremely relevant. And, you know, enjoying this. So we're going to just Stark Spidey ourselves a victory, huh? Pretty good. And that animation on the special one is so slow. It kind of reminds me of Cold Obsidian almost. So there you have it. I, uh, I'm i just a fan, YouTube. I'm a huge fan, and I say this every time. I want to promote this game. I want there to be pro-player events 
and deals that make Kabam money, but at the same time also don't screw the player over uh, with bad, shady, you know, whatever. And I think as a whole, 2020 has been a great year for Marvel Contest of Champions, and it's been a great year for the game. Yes, there's still some disappointment with new champions not working as good as you thought maybe or, you know, whatever. But, you know, I'm excited to play this game right now. I'm excited to jump into improving arenas, especially on Sundays. I'm excited to, to do the side quest. I, I thought this month's Uncollected was extremely generous. And uh, actually, if you're looking to do a Legends run and you've got Corvus, this would definitely be the month to use your Corvus because you could take down both bosses fairly easily. And uh, I'm just, I'm a fan. And I really like to be objective on my channel and give credit where credit is due. And this month so far, a month that historically has been a bad month in Marvel Contest of Champions, considering that this was also the, the famous, infamous patch 12.0 debacle of March of several years ago. Uh, this is not it. This is uh, enjoyable. And I know I keep using this word and maybe somebody will make it into a drinking game if you're illegal. But uh, it's relaxing. It's relaxing to me and I'm enjoying it. I know you can't see my face, but I've got a smile on my face talking about this right now. And hopefully you do too. Have a great day, YouTube. Let me know if you like this new side quest in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting the Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.